not everybody gets to come to Robben Island, a huge UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist destination, but now you can with Google Street View. Take a walk into the historic ground of Robben Island from your computer just as you would if you were actually there. The three-dimensional pictures give a realistic view of what the island looks like present day and includes commentary from former prisoners. My name is Fusumzi Nkongo. I'm currently working for Robben Island. I was arrested in 1977 and convicted in 1978. So we can only speak about our own experience or my own experience. Ahmed Katrada spent 26 years in prison, 18 of them at Robben Island. A close friend of Nelson Mandela, he now gives tours just like this one every so often. So Robben Island is a huge part of South Africa's culture and its history. And when we were mapping South Africa last year and doing some street view collections, we thought about Robben Island and everyone agreed that it needed to be a special collection. The world can go inside Robben Island virtually because of the images generated from this street view trekker who shot the images with a camera system that fits into a wearable backpack. The R15 lenses at the top of the mast, each pointing at a different direction, enabling Google to create a 360-degree panoramic view. Street view images provide users across the world with an experience uh, of the culture and the historical and touristic places uh, across the globe. The launch of Street View for Robben Island was on the backdrop of xenophobic attacks in South Africa, which was not lost on the island's CEO. This does not represent me as a person. And as a CEO of Robben Island, I am ashamed because we are a weighted different side because the African continent was behind our proposal. Whether you want to check out Nelson Mandela's prison cell or just take an interactive tour of the facilities, the journey offers up an interesting glance into the prison then and now. It is incredible, um, the stories we got here and the people that, that led us into their lives and, and their time here. So for us, we hope that this will preserve that history and those stories for future generations. The virtual tour of Robben Island is not a substitute for the real thing and the Department of Tourism here hopes that they can use this to entice a lot more people to come and make this pilgrimage, not just for South Africans, but for humanity. Larry Nadeau, NTV and Robben Island, Cape Town.